If I had the money, yeah. lower the better, maybe <laughs> two two thousand. <laughs> two thousand. But we're in Singapore. We're gonna we're gonna ask him how much it costs to live here right. later on. Hello, this is Gabe Ojisan. We are now at Orchard and today we're checking out a condo in this area. Let's check it out. Hey Ruben! Hey! So what's so special about it? It's been designed very specially by this uh, architect. It's called UN Studios. Okay. It's a little bit hard to explain. I think let's get there and I'll show you how it looks like. Exciting! Okay, let's check it out. So Ruben, how far is Scott's Tower from uh, East Far East Plaza? Oh, it's probably about five minutes. Five minutes. From Scott's Tower to uh, Far East Plaza. Mm. It's not actually sheltered, right? Yeah, it's not. If it's raining, you oh. gotta bring an umbrella. If it's really hot, probably where I kept my like, gift, you know. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we're here. This we're is here. This one. Scott's Tower. Wow. So you might not see it now. Uh, it looks pretty plain, but at night actually you get all kinds of hues. So you get purple lights right, coming here, right, right. and you can imagine all the city lights around. All oh, right. All right. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So you can see it's a, it's not the biggest mm. of spaces, but it's really beautifully designed. It's the yes. elevator hall. Huh? Yeah, and you get like uh, the wooden uh, panels, and you get the marble flooring. So right now we're heading up to U1, I believe, which is where you get all the facilities. All right. So we're going to U1. U1. Yep. That's where all the facilities are. So we're gonna check out the facilities then. See the rooms. So this area here mm. is the palm court. What I really like about this place is that it gives a completely different vibe to what you get in most developments. Okay. It feels almost like a weekend city getaway. And let's go check out the rest of the facility. Okay. Ah, these are the kids. This cool. is the kids' pool. It doesn't look very much like a kids' pool, I know. Mm. Uh, but then again, you know, the aesthetics are congruent with the rest of uh, the luxury looking project. And oh my gosh, I think the gym is an outdoor gym. Yep. But you don't have any free weights here. And if you love air cons, maybe it's not for yeah, you. You do have the air <laughs> oh, though, yes. Oh, there's an air con here. Yeah. I love the vibe though. It just feels pretty nice. It should feel pretty nice working out, looking at this uh, area. Yeah. Massage pond. Uh, it has everything, even has your tap. Uh, it has your electrical sockets over here. Mm. Probably want some privacy, right? right? So you have your curtains over here. But the way I look at it, you know, someone could just pop in. So perhaps not the most private of areas. It's just a number of tables and chairs. Mm. If you would like to draw the curtains, it's retractable. You have your air condition inside as well. It's a great point of the developers to step out and do something different. Yeah, right, especially right. considering it's a luxury designer condo. I like the sound of the water flowing over there. You can relax here. Essentially quite a small development. It's about mm. 65,000 square feet. You don't really get massive facilities, but you can see that they've tried to fit some stuff in here. Right. You've got your usual playground. The playground. And now we're checking out the swimming pool for adults. Looks pretty nice, the pool. All right, so we're gonna go upstairs right now, go on the second right. floor and check out the hydrotherapy pool. Hydrotherapy yeah. pool? Yep, yep. Hydrotherapy pool on some bathing deck. So what's a hydrotherapy pool? I guess a jacuzzi is just a fancy word for that. Just, just imagine sitting here looking at the view. It's not bad, actually. It's not bad, but it's not the best. Uh, not the best. We're yeah. gonna check out the best in a bit. That's all the way up on the 21st story. All right. All right, 25th all right. floor. Whoa! And that's the orchard, right? Yeah. Over there. We were literally just there, yeah. Surprise class. Oh, that one! Yeah. Again, the pool is a bit small. But I mean, the view kind of peaked downwards. Okay. That used to be Ken Hill Mansion. So, so the thing that's coming up is probably going to be about 17 or 18 stories. This is the 25th story, so you're not going to be blocked. Uh, there won't be any blocked views. You can still see your Marina right, Bay, right, right. your CBD. I see some 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 people working. They're working from home at, at this kind of environment. And this is like the jacuzzi yeah. area, right? We have a pond there and two jacuzzis. I wish I brought my <laughs> swimming pants, but I have to say the the view you get from here is I like it more than the 
Oh yeah, the really? view we just got now at Orchard Road. Because this is facing like a yeah, this the forest. Not too bad. Yeah. The feel. It's great, but you know the only thing mm. is, I I do wish that the plants were actually behind us. Oh, because we can't get a view. We can't get a view. It's true. Like you're, you're sitting down. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. But the the feel is pretty. It's not bad because we're such at a high high floor. It's unblocked almost. But the plants. Yeah, man, the plants. All right, so the view is pretty nice. Mm. But we've got something a lot more special. Are you ready for a penthouse unit? We're checking out the penthouse. <laughs> wow, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, let's go have a look. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's, this is the penthouse already. Yeah, so this is a, it's a private lift. <laughs> oh my god, that's 3,000 uh, plus square feet, 2,200. And if you're 3,000. If you're wondering about the wow. cost, yeah, it's about $13 million. So this is the, the kitchen. Open concept kitchen and, and the view. When you think about living in orchard, it's a, it's always so busy, mm -hmm. no nature. But look at what we have right now. Like it's the master bedroom. It's the master bedroom. And again, you can see it opens up to the massive balcony. Oh wow! It's to be honest, I thought it could be bigger, as big as my room in Ishibi. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's because there's a humongous yeah. balcony here. So this is the, the busy area, orchard. But we have this amazing view here. There's lots of nature. I think most of the rooms are relatively similar, so let's head to the top. Wait, there's a top? Oh my god, that, that's a staircase. We have like a spiral staircase. Don't tell me we have we have like a private pool. We do! Oh my gosh. It's nice. It's really windy. It is. It feels it is. So, so nice and up it's here. Like, I mean, it's literally 12 p.m. now. It's, yeah. it's supposed to be hot, sunny. It is humid, yes. But you still get it. Wow, this, this place is spacious. <laughs> you can uh, have your kids play around here. We've just uh, had a look at this penthouse unit. Sadly, it's not been furnished yet. On the 24th floor, we have a Soho unit that's a two-bedroom. And uh, okay. I'm just gonna go check it out right now. All right, great. So we're now at the 24th floor. Yep, two-bedroom, 807 square feet. Let's check, check it out. out. It's pretty nice. Well, first of all, we have a loft here, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah. We have a open concept kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is actually extended up. So this is essentially a dining table. You don't have to waste space uh, putting in a new dining table, putting in new dining chairs. Yeah. You're paying a lot for this. Right, so right. It should be good, right? Uh, you get plenty of exterior and interior spaces. Uh, storage. storage spaces. Yeah, yeah, great. So just before we get to the top, you have this kind of uh, dissection. Nice. So you have your work area. I love about, this space. Yeah, it looks nice. It, it, it's dual purpose as well. So just for some reference, I'm about 180 centimeters. I think this is about 15, 10, 15 centimeters. Mm. So if you're 190, you know, this might not be the perfect fit for you. It <laughs> should be okay for most it people. It should be okay for most people. <laughs> uh, and you know, you can put your study table here. Uh, this is essentially a room of its own, right? But, right, uh, it's right. converts into that. So uh, it's, it's very nice. You want to you check out the top? Of course. Can't really stand up and move around, but I'm good to chill. And can you show me the main the bedroom, master the master bedroom? Yeah. The wardrobe isn't facing the bed as it usually is. Uh, right, right. It, it feels more spacious. It's a little more spacious. A king size bed here easily. I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, it's taking up space. It's taking up space. Right. Imagine waking up. Every day from here, Far East Plaza. <laughs> you guys look at the view, you get <laughs> yeah, the view of Far East Plaza. Moving on to the living room. A nice TV, nice couch. The only issue though, obviously, you get this condo in front of you. Yeah, so you have a condo in front of you. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice. Yeah. Um, very central, I love the interior, I love the loft. But one concern is of course the price. So, so how much does it cost? It's definitely over one million, right? It's over one million, yeah. <laughs> there were two sales that were made this year for mm. two bedroom units for Scotts Tower. 
and they both went at two million dollars. Two million. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, okay. So again, it's eight hundred plus square feet. That equates to about two point five. Yeah. Two right. Six it's, it's not cheap. <laughs> it's but not cheap. Yeah. Again, the the location and the facilities. It's, I, it's I, very designer. Right? Designer. So right. it's a designer condo. You are essentially paying a lot for the facade. Mm. This is a hundred and three year leasehold condo. All the condos around um, are actually oh. freehold condos. Now, the reason for that is this is actually freehold land. So, mm. FICE uh, organization actually bought the land. They have they own the land, but they decided to lease it up for 103 years. Mm. Essentially, what that means is after this leasehold ends, the land goes back to FICE organization, right, which right. is actually quite smart if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thanks again for joining us here. Yeah. Thank you for showing me around. No, I'm not at all. It was wow. a good experience for me as well. It was very fun. Probably gonna head to the office after this. Are you? Are you yeah, yeah. I'm okay. eating some uh, makan. Cool. Yeah. Overall, I think it's a, it was a pretty decent uh, condo. The location is pretty pretty good. It's walkable to Orchard. Uh, the unit it did feel a bit claustrophobic, but well maintained, very clean. The facilities, I also felt that the pool can be just a bit bigger, but overall pretty decent and I like the design. Okay, that is all, thank you so much for watching. I'm starving, it's time for, time for makan. See you guys later.